The shiny horse is a battleship of the Kriegsmarine. It's more like a Graf Spee on steroids in the fact that you have the Graf Spee guns but get more of them and better armor and speed. First of all we have the guns, which are good if you know who to use them on. They are small for a battleship, but this is actually most of the time a good thing as you can penetrate and beat the ever-loving crap out of cruisers and destroyers. The secondary armament is okay for dealing with small boats or if you let all your guns be disabled like a jackass. And finally we have torpedoes. They are best used as a last resort and should be considered an offensive weapon, as they lack range and don't cover much distance per turn. Now we get to the real question. Why use the shiny horse class and what makes them good? The first answer is simple. They are the only battleships that Germany has at the start of the campaign, and are thus two out of four of the only battleships you get. Unless you play with H-39 class like a filthy wearaboo. Second, they are the best commerce raiders due to their cruiser killing guns, great armor, and decent speed. You use them like they were used historically, sending both of them to sortie into the central Atlantic. You raid convoys, and sink foolish British cruiser that thinks it can broadside a battleship. If you aren't finding any convoys as a group, split up and cover more ground. Just don't get mad when one of them encounters a force with ships way bigger than one of them. The Scharnhorst class can not fight two British BB or even one lucky one with 16 inch guns. So if you are forced into action you retreat just like the German army during Barbarossa. But if both of them are there, and the enemy isn't too strong you press your advantage of 18 11 inch guns to punch through silly renown armor. Always bring your friends, because chances are the Royal Navy will bring theirs. Remember that the main goal of the campaign in general is to sink merchants and not warships. With these ships you want to keep them at sea as long as possible. However if one of them is damaged, which is likely to happen, you group them together and make the return journey to port. You do this whole process of the things explained in this video until you either win or your surface fleet gets destroyed by your crap planning skill. If that happens then you keep the remaining one or both up in Norway and just kinda menace arctic convoys. Just be sure not to get North Cape. Now you know how to commerce raid like a true chadmiral. Good luck out there.